or something I've been holding in the whole episode. I already know what you're about to say. You're about to talk about my nose hair that you can see this whole episode. Wait, you're really close though. <laughs> you have one hair from your beard that looks like you didn't shave it. And <laughs> sticking out of your cheek well thank you because everybody <laughs> needed to know that i'm sure they noticed that just go ahead now with me our telepathy is really good though <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay i didn't want to be in the podcast right. just knock me out episode seven well you survived shark week barely <laughs> you really pushed me to my ends this week uh-uh cody <laughs> I was kind. I was an angel. I only used the bell once. I despise that bell. And yet you still come running. Whatever. I'm just trying to be nice. You actually are very nice to me when I'm on my period. Yeah. You bring me chocolate. You bring me my heating pads. My doll. Fill my water. Get you sweets. Give me back things. You don't even, nobody knows what back things are. It's a common thing. Oh, it is? Yeah, you did a little scratchy thing on my back. Yeah. Every girl loves that. Hmm. You sound like a smoker today. <laughs> I got, I got some throat issues. <laughs> you want to clear that up before people get to running with that? Why is your mind always in the gutter? <laughs> Every podcast, you just take things <laughs> left. Clear it up. My, I can't clear my throat up. You mean. <laughs> are you kidding me? Explain it. I'm having some kind of allergic reaction, probably to you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get started with this episode, if you like what you're hearing, you want to hear more. If you like us. Please give the, the podcast a five-star rating. Leave give us some words. I want a review. Mm -hmm. If you like it. Yeah. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and give us a like. And a comment. All the things. Anything you can think of. Anything. <laughs> Share it. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, for, okay, so for th this episode in particular, we're going to be going through a couple of current events. Uh, a particular somebody did drop an album, and we have thoughts. It wasn't Beyonce. Also, the platform that we began on, TikTok, might be getting banned. Might be an end of an era. And in honor of the NFL draft this week... We have our own little draft. You're going to force me to watch that, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Huh. We're doing a couples theme draft. Draft any couple, fictional or real. And we'll see who builds the best squad. I mean, we're the number one draft pick, right? You sure? I am, but... I am the Patrick Mahomes of this relationship. What am I? You can be Travis. <laughs> Don't I resemble Patrick Mahomes a little bit more than you? I don't know. I probably sound more like Kermit the Frog, especially today. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Here. Thank you. See, you <laughs> underestimate me, but. Have you heard him talk? Yeah. Oh, okay. You showed me. I didn't know you knew that reference. I pay attention. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the first one. Okay. <clears throat> Taylor Swift. Mm. The tortured poets department. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. She dropped it. She did. All 31 songs of it. It was, it was a lot. Now, I think that we should clarify. We are not Swifties. No hate if you are Swiftie, do your thing. But we went into this as unbiased as we could. As we could. <laughs> there was a little bit, I'm sure. We can't rid ourselves of any of it. That's true. That's but... True. True or false, the entire album sounds like the same song over and over and over and over and over. To me, it sounded like just one long run-on sentence. <laughs> Very accurate. And it, they're all about like the same two people. Yeah, two exes. I guess one is from the 1975 band. The second one is Joe Alwyn. He is an actor, mm. British actor. Okay. And I need to care about this for 31 songs. Yeah, she essentially just alternated throughout the entirety of the project. Okay, okay. And then the one song about Kim, I guess. Kim caught a stray. We're not really even a stray. It was <laughs> widely outlined in the title. I, know. I love how there's that lyric about, like, your daughter's going to listen to a song that only we know is about you. I'm like, Taylor, everybody knows this song. <laughs> it's about <laughs> Kim. You literally capitalize her name all throughout. 
but okay. One thing I took exception to, mm-hmm. Rolling Stone came out with an article oh boy. reviewing the album. Mm-mm. And in the headline, they noted that Taylor Swift was the better Adele. How do you feel about that? I don't feel good about it, James. I don't feel good. Accurate? No. Here's no. my thing. And I feel like I'm going to get hate for this, but I just, okay. If you're a Swifty, I would hope that you're not claiming that Taylor Swift has like the best voice vocally and, you know, they're catchy, relatable songs. I get if that's your thing, but to compare Taylor Swift to Adele, when Adele's voice is like rainbows and sunshine, (laughs) And the writing and the production is so top tier. I just, I can't do it. I, I can't. They shouldn't be in the same sentence. Agreed. Feels like they're two totally different artists going for two totally different sounds. Mm-hmm. They both do what they're intending to do well. Mm-hmm. But for my particular taste, I'll take Adele any day. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It Taylor makes very relatable things. People feel like they can feel their own emotions through it. But I think, let's just call a spade a spade, that's what it is. But some people do say that Taylor Swift, her strength is songwriting. And I just want to reference one song here because I was a little confused. The song titled I Hate It Here had a particular lyric that I... Didn't think was great. I'd say the 1830s, but without all the racists and getting married off for the highest bid. Here's my thing. She has a big team, right? Like, there are a lot of people that put their eyes and ears on this before it was dropped. I would assume. And everybody was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I don't even think it's a, a problematic lyric. I don't think it was in any way controversial i just think when people say that she is a great songwriter and i see a lyric like this i scratch my head a little bit (laughs) no you really don't think it's controversial at all no you do kind of i mean i don't think anybody but people that look like taylor swift would be bringing up the 1830s as a nostalgic time but later in the verse she kind of explains what she's talking about and i actually thought the more you go into the song, it, it's decently written, at least. Hmm. She's explaining that nostalgically, she thought of that time period in her life where she was envisioning the 1830s as desirable. But then as she comes to terms with the fact that even the 1830s had races and the 1830s had the women getting married off for political reasons, mm-hmm. it wasn't as green as she saw it at once. I suppose. I'll credit that. But I will say, we were watching this one video of a girl who created a parody of the album, and it was basically her just saying these random, very straightforward thoughts. Like, I like the 1830s, but there's racists. It would be great if there weren't racists, but there's racists. And I don't even know what it was, but it was just obviously making a mockery of it. We wanted to, you know, give Taylor a little bit more credit. So we went to the song that Rolling Stone said was her best song, her most popular song. And the first two stanzas (laughs) were literally like, I walked out the door. It was cold. (laughs) I needed a scarf. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I, I just, I, you know, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't get the lyrical genius part of it. Me either. But even though we don't get it, apparently a lot of you do. She is estimated to do two million in sales for the first week. Whoa. I mean, you got to give her props for that. Like her music or don't like her music. She's doing something right. I also thought the marketing was really interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw any of the like rooms that they put together with a bunch of Easter eggs in it for the songs. Mm-mm. That's pretty impressive to me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. She's a marketing genius. I will give her that. All right. So next topic, we're moving on to the potential TikTok ban. The latest in 
the House and the Senate, they have attached the TikTok ban bill to foreign aid. I feel like that's slimy. Skeezy. Say what you want, but it is, I will say it's smart. (sighs) For the people who do want TikTok gone, I am not among those. But it just passed the House. They're estimating that it'll pass the Senate very quickly. And we could be potentially looking at a 12-month span in which TikTok has to sell to a U.S.-based company or we will be banned. How do you feel about that? It hits home in a lot of ways. I mean, for starters, I feel like for a lot of people, TikTok got them through COVID. I mean, that's when it really popped off. People were connecting through it, creating community through it at a time where they couldn't otherwise. And then on a personal level, it's where we started doing our content. It's true. Big Spoon and Little Spoon got its start on TikTok. Yeah. But if TikTok goes away, we will be in other places. We'll be on YouTube. We'll be on Instagram. We'll be on any other thing that pops off after TikTok. People don't like us as much on there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but here's my question. Will TikTok go down in the same vein as Vine? You think they're in the same playing field? Do you think TikTok is substantially more impactful? I feel like it is in a different way. Because I feel like TikTok has in this really unique way created a community. Like we were talking about it the other day. It feels like you're on FaceTime with a friend or you're in a group chat with a friend It has, like, this personal touch to it that I haven't been able to find anywhere else. You weren't a Vine user, though, were you? No. And so, I mean, you're a little biased. Vine, for our age, and especially in high school, Vine was huge. Wasn't it more like Mimi, though? No, it was shorter videos, though. Yeah. That's the only thing. I think it had to be under 10, 15 seconds, but Mm. I don't know. I can still remember some of the most iconic videos on that platform. There's people who built careers on that. Yeah. That's the other thing, too, that, like you just said, there are so many people that depend on TikTok for their small businesses, Mm -hmm. and that's just crushing in its own right to see the challenges that they're going to go through if this does go through. So for you as a viewer, you as someone who intakes TikTok on a high level, where would you go to replace TikTok if there's nothing new to come afterwards? Would you go to YouTube, Instagram? Or some other platform, Threads, which was popping off for like a a minute. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I guess if I have no other options, probably YouTube. I like YouTube already. It's different, though. It is different. Do you like shorts as much as you like TikToks? Do you like shorts better than you like Instagram reels? I do think I like shorts because they're TikToks that were posted like months before previously (laughs) it's just tiktok delayed Mm. but instagram reels no no well kind of shade to instagram but it's not a very homey environment people are mean over there (laughs) (laughs) you'll have like thousands of people watch your videos and five likes and Mm. then any comments are mean (laughs) it's a different different platform for sure but Mm -hmm. I will say, the thing I will miss about TikTok the most, if it does go away, and hopefully it doesn't, hopefully Instagram buys them, Facebook buys them, or Amazon buys them. It makes it something very similar. Mm -hmm. Um, But if it doesn't, the thing that I'll miss is how many people we've been able, even with our small little following, to impact in such a short amount of time, knowing that there are commenters I see all the time Mm -hmm. that allude to the fact that they enjoy our content or we've put a smile on their face or brighten their day or just made something a little bit easier for them to serve as a distraction. That's something I appreciate, something I would like to continue to do. And that's why I hope TikTok stays. But if it doesn't, hopefully we can all reconvene elsewhere. I know. I just hope they find us somewhere else because that for me, too, that's been the coolest part is connecting to people that I've never met before and I don't know that people just say the nicest things and leave the nicest messages and give us so much encouragement. And I just feel like we have built a small little family and I, I want that to continue. Yeah. 
One thing I was gonna ask, I, okay, I think you're gonna make fun of me for this. Hmm. Is, <laughs> is there a world where like, everybody who loves TikTok could throw in money and be owned by the people? <laughs> no. Are you serious? <laughs> You know how tic- how much, how expensive TikTok's going to be to buy? No. There's probably five companies in the world that could buy it. Oh. You think the people throwing in a <laughs> dollar here and there is going to work? I forgot. Most of the wealth is not with us. <laughs> <laughs> a girl can dream. If it comes down to that, TikTok, RIP. What happens if it gets bought? Do you think it'll stay the same? I don't think it will stay exactly the same. I think the algorithm will remain. You because do. Because obviously it's been successful. Yeah. And I think if you're buying TikTok, you would definitely want the intellectual property of the algorithm. But would ByteDance sell the algorithm? I don't see another company paying that much if it's not involved. It's been so successful. It's been such a, I think, a, a focal point of why the platform's so successful and why people love it so much. That would, that would have to be included. I think they would repackage it, though. Mm-hmm. It's going to look different. Mm-hmm. It's going to, let's say Facebook buys it. I think it's going to be incorporated into Instagram, and it's going to replace Instagram Reels. Yay. Let's but still feel very familiar. Ruin it. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, stay away from my TikTok. <laughs> All right, so we got one last segment for the day. NFL drafts coming up. Cowboys, we don't have a good pick. But we need offensive linemen. We need running backs. You know what pick we are? Why are you saying we? Like, I am also a Cowboys fan. I live in Chicago. I don't know where you live. You're a Bears fan? I mean, I feel like I should be. I have no connection to the Cowboys. I have love for the Bears, too. They're going to have an exciting night. Two top ten picks. Oh, really? Number one pick. Who's it going to be? Um. Yeah, you can't be a fan. Somebody who went to... A really good Alabama. Somebody who went to Alabama. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a solid guess. <laughs> but today, since she clearly knows nothing about the NFL draft, we're going to be doing a draft that she does know something about. A couple's draft. Hmm. Fictional or real. And we're going to do the snake style. You see what I'm saying? You either get the first pick or you get the second and third pick. You hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where do you want to start? Um, I'll do second and third. All right. Number one pick of the couples draft. Mm-hmm. I could go a lot of different ways here. I already know my pick. so. I have a lot of fictional ones that I'm fond of, mm-hmm. but I'm going real here. Okay. This is a power couple. Mm-hmm. This is one that you would be jealous of. Mm-hmm. This is one that you are a major fan of. Mm-hmm. At least half of it. This is a billionaire couple. Oh, okay. I know where you're going with this. This is Jay-Z and Beyonce. Welcome to the squad. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I wouldn't pick them. They're not on my team. If I'm picking singles, Beyonce's on my team, for sure. You don't like Jay-Z? I don't like what Jay-Z did to Beyonce. We haven't heard both sides of the story yet. Beyonce only speaks the truth. All right, pick two and three. Who you got? Okay, my first one, also a power couple. I thought maybe you might go this way. Michelle and Barack. Ooh. That's a top tier right there. They, they started dating so early on. They've been through some things. She said for 10 years she didn't even like his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they're a great couple. I love their personalities. I love their family. I love that they're from Chicago. Strong pick. Mm-hmm. I'm outweighing you in money, but strong pick. Money can't buy you happiness, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Third pick. Okay, third pick. Hmm. Hmm. This is a tough one. I'm going fictional here. Uh-oh. But I have a few choices. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go with our collective favorite movie. Oh no! That's right. That's right. No. Shed your tears. I'm taking Elizabeth and Nick from the Parent Trap. Damn, that was mine. Mm-hmm. 
You're welcome. You want to trade? No, this is why I went two and three, so I can take them back to back. <laughs> All right. That's a solid pick, though. All right, we'll rebound. Mm -hmm. Let me get back to the draft room. Mm -hmm. We got four and five. You took one of my favorites. I'm taking one of your favorites. What are you taking? Are you fond of the notebook? This is not cool. This is not cool. You know that's one of my favorite movies. A couple that lasted their entire lives. And the movie actually depicts their entire lives. They die on the hospital beds together. A true love had to come, overcome many obstacles, still chose one another. Give me Allie and Noah. You had to look up their names. You don't even know their names. Welcome to the squad. You don't even like them. You <laughs> always say that it's, it's whack that she was engaged and went back to dude. I'm just a little whack, but they lasted the test of time. I can't, I can't deny that. Just be honest. You picked them to spite me. You don't even like them. I like them, but I'll trade you. No, forget you. <laughs> Pick number five. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to a real life couple. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You just mocking me now? Yeah. You got something to say about it? I know who's not my favorite couple today. <laughs> like us, they're high school sweethearts. Like us, they're still together. Like my first couple I picked. Beyonce and Jay-Z, extremely wealthy. The GOAT of basketball, better than Jordan. Shots fired. Bring LeBron and Savannah James. The king. All hell. Are you all right? <laughs> You just want to be with LeBron. Would that be your couple, you and LeBron? No. <laughs> I like a couple that stays through celebrity, through all of the women that I'm sure have thrown themselves at LeBron. He has consistently stayed with his high school sweetheart. He's never cheated. Never. He's never even been in a scandal. Hmm. Never. All right. I'll run him his props. I'll run him yeah. his props. I don't know if you could say he's better than Jordan. Explain. Explain. I didn't say I know. I'm saying it's, I don't know if you could. <laughs> yeah. You just talk. Mm. 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 Okay. So I'm six and seven. Yep. All right. I'm going fictional again. Okay. They're a couple much like us. What movie or show? They were high school. Well, they weren't really high school sweethearts. They started out in high school. What show is this from? Movie. I'm surprised you don't already know. High school sweethearts, that's all you said. Look at my eyes. Love and basketball. There it is. Did you? Did I really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Quincy and Monica. I knew you'd pick that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. They you. had a rough patch. They, you know, had some years without each other. Luckily, we didn't have that. But they came back. This was a solid pick. Yeah. He, he said, what did he say at the end? He said, what, what was it? You and tell me, it's your favorite movie? Hold on, no. Double or nothing. <laughs> he couldn't let her walk away. <laughs> All right, we'll say. Mm, I'm going real couple. I think you'll be surprised by this pick. I even am surprising myself a little bit. But I love what they have. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. Are you kidding me? Do you know anything about their relationship? Have you seen them together? Or the way no. he talks about her? No. Those out there that know, you know. Their love is hilarious for starters. It's kind of, he, he rips on her like you rip on me. <laughs> He's hilarious. I don't, She's oh, gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. I don't rip on you. I think you think I'm joking. The things I say, I mean. Are you trying to break up with me? <laughs> Just playing. Continue on. Mm -hmm. I'll remember this for next Shark Week. Mm. Mm -hmm. But he loves her so much. Just the way he looks at her, the way he acts towards her and his daughters. <laughs> it's too much. How long have they been together? I don't know. A long time. I don't know the exact years. Look it up. Google's free. You know, <clears throat> when a guy gets drafted pretty early. 
and they don't pan out, you know what they call them? Hmm. A bust. No, this is my sleeper pick. Mm. That's a sports term. There you go. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Isn't it? You always say there's a sleeper. <laughs> so I got my last two picks here. Wait, pick how many eight. are we doing? We're doing 10. Oh. Five representatives for each of us. You didn't tell me that. You guys let us know who has the best squad. Mm, okay. My next one, I have to go with my heart. Okay. Right? So me and you? No. Oh. All right. Well. I need to go with a fictional couple. Okay. One of my favorite fictional series. That's a hint. Series. Show series or movie series? Movie series. Yeah, I know who it is. Who is it? It's from Harry Potter. Wow. Which one? I don't know if I'm going to agree. I think we're going to disagree. Yeah. I'm taking Ron and Hermione. I don't know if I agree. I was right. Harry and Ginny were not. No, no, no. They weren't strong enough. That's not what I'm saying. We got to see Ron and Hermione go from friends that would butt heads at times to falling in love. Mm -mm. You think Mm -hmm. Harry and Hermione is the love story. I mean, it even sounds better. Them dancing together and what was that, number six? Who cares? (sighs) No, it was a missed opportunity. No. Ron cared more than Harry. Debatable. He got mad in the seventh one. Remember that? Yeah. When he, he thought that Harry was trying to come on to Hermione? That's just because he's insecure. Okay. <laughs> Give me Ron and Hermione. Welcome to the squad. You can take them, honestly. Welcome to the winning team. Have that. <laughs> All right. Last pick. I'm going to go with my heart again. I need to close it out with a real couple, though. Mm-hmm. Somebody that I'm particularly fond of. Somebody that I think we know pretty well. Right? We know them? Yeah. Okay. It's actually a TikTok couple. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Do I? Raise your hand. My hand? Yeah. Oh. Us. Oh, that was <laughs> cute. <laughs> that was really yeah. cute. Wow. You're smooth with it. Got Don't that, you know it? I got that drip. Okay. <laughs> got that riz. You just ruin moments. You you try to ruin moments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last pick. What do they call this in sports? For the last guy being picked in the NFL draft, they call him Mr. Blank. Last pick? Mr. Irrelevant. Oh, that's <laughs> rude. <laughs> oh, this is tough. This is tough. I got to think for a second here. He stole the one I was going to take. Which one? Us. <laughs> you going to make us the, the last pick? You made us the last pick of yours. But you were going to make it Mr. and Mrs. Irrelevant. We're, re- we're relevant in our hearts, and that's what matters. <laughs> Just stop being corny, please. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it might have been Will and Jada until Jada just went buck wild. Can't do that anymore. They have to be on five worst couples. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know why they're rumored to still be together? Why? Jada said that she thinks it's because of this phrase. It's cheaper to keep her. Wow. That's love. <laughs> there, there's no prenup. They didn't sign a prenup. Oh, they didn't? No. So, yeah, Will is, he's on the hook there. Oh, no, Will. (laughs) She's going to do you so dirty. (laughs) Well, dirtier. (laughs) Um, Okay, for this last one, and you all are going to get mad at us because Taylor and Travis are not making the cut. We're not fans. Sorry, not sorry. (laughs) It's going to be fictional. It's from one of my favorite TV shows. One Tree Hill. No. You don't like that show? I thought I thought we were here, but look Let at me, my eyes. Hour or thirty minute show. In between. In between. Mm-hmm. You're talking about without commercials. An hour. Commercials or commercials? <laughs> Is it hour or thirty minutes? Hour. Yeah. Is it on a streaming service or did it come on live TV? Both. Both. Grey's why, Anatomy. Why are you? I, th- I really thought we had it. <laughs> I really thought we had it. We were supposed to be here. It's not Grey's Anatomy? No. Is it one we watched or just you? 
me. Recent or le- or long time ago? Long time ago. <laughs> I don't know. Just say it. Wow. It's like you don't even know me. Law and order. Just shut up. <laughs> While you're behind. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Luke and Lorelai. Gilmore Girls. That's your last pick. Luke is so loyal. He loved her from the start. He waited for her. He watched her go through so many crappy relationships. And then it just... Chef's kiss. They're beautiful. They've, they're like us. Friends pick on each other all the time. They have their bits. It's magical. I was going to say, let us know who won. But just let me know that I won after that last pick. Mm-mm. Can I get an honorary pick? You want some honorable mentions? Yeah. Let's rattle some off here. I got a bunch. Let's hear it. Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell. Overrated. They're both hilarious and their relationship is so real. What about Woody and Jesse? Solid. Not as good as Simba and Nala. Hmm. They were kind of on again, off again. Were they? (laughs) I mean, then there's obviously friends. Monica and Chandler, Ross and Rachel. We're, we're Ross and Rachel, really. I don't want to hear about friends. We were on a break, and you done did some shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. What about from Insecure? There's no good relationships in there. Issa and Terrence? Terrence? Lawrence? <laughs> yeah. Why are you sitting here trying to prove a point? Your ass is wrong. Is that his real name? Lawrence? Yeah. The actor? No. Oh, I don't know where I got Terrence then. That was not a great relationship. They're a very real relationship. They work back to each other. Yeah, he got an STD in the the meantime. I mean. Slept with another woman on their bed. I didn't say it was always pretty. (laughs) Said they worked through their shit and they ended up together. Good show, bad relationship. Mm, All right, all right, all right. The most diabolical couple. But smart, mm. cunning. Mm. Tom and Shiv. Oh, so we're drafting worst couples now. <laughs> She's horrible. They're. You talk about realistic. They were too realistic. I mean, she doesn't even like him. They use each other's power moves. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you acting as if that's realistic? You got something to say? What power move am I using you for? That's what I'm saying. I don't know why you're talking about this like you're talking from experience. Okay. You would you would be the Tom, though. What? Because you love me and you would do anything for me. Hmm. <laughs> I would. Why are you laughing? You wouldn't do it Tom style. Not Tom style, but James style. He was a doormat. I'm not. Right. Yeah. No. See that wall over there? Mm. I'm that. Where's the rock? <laughs> There's something I've been holding in the whole episode. I already know what you're about to say. Right. Telepathy's already clued in. You're yeah. about to talk about my nose hair that you can see this whole episode. <laughs> Wait, you're really close, though. <laughs> ear hair. I knew it. I already know how you think. It's not, but that's, like, freaky to me that you already... <laughs> you have one hair from your beard that looks like you didn't shave it. And <laughs> sticking out of your cheek well thank you because everybody <laughs> needed to know that i'm sure they noticed that just go ahead now with me our telepathy is really good though <laughs> i already knew you nailed that i can tell because i can see where you're looking on my face <laughs> and i can't tell if it's in my nose or on somewhere else in my face i got my answer i mean that's a good guess you do usually have spider hairs coming out your nose and ears mm. okay well <laughs> On that note, we will close this one out. She's overdue for a spanking. So we're just going to open and close dirty? (laughs) We just can't keep anything nice? Just a quick reminder, if you're on a podcast platform, give us a thumbs up. Or no, no. A thumbs up? Just a quick... All right. You know what? I was going to ask for for likes and five stars. Just forget it. (laughs) Just forget it. We're closing it out crazy today. (laughs) Come back soon now, (laughs) y'all.